everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my Disney Pixar Up Funko collection. Let's check them out. First up is the youngest version of Ellie. Hey, I don't bite. She was sold as a set with Carl. This Funko was part of a 2019 summer convention exclusive that originally retailed for $30. This came out before I started collecting Funko Pops, so when I went to buy it offline, it was around $150. That was out of my price range that I was willing to spend. Luckily though, I was able to find them out of box, and the pair only cost me $60 because, you may have noticed, there's something missing in the photo. I was able to get the pair so cheap because Carl's glasses had broken off and disappeared. So the pair you see here is actually 100% hot glue. I painted them black and I attached them to his face, and although it's not perfect, it's good enough to me. I really wanted this set in my collection for so long, so imperfections and all, I couldn't be happier. In a previous unboxing video of mine, you may have already seen this Carl and Ellie Funko Pop. As you can see by the sticker, it's a box lunch exclusive that was actually released this year and it retailed for $35. I love the pop moments that they've made for Up. In the future, I would love to see them do a scene where Carl and Ellie are sitting in their chairs. I would definitely buy that in a heartbeat to have it in my collection. And now on to Carl and Ellie's wedding. This Funko is a pop in the box exclusive. It came out towards the end of last year and it retails for $30. I think Funko did a great job on this set. The pair look great together. I'm kind of tempted to take them out of the box, but as for now, I'm resisting, but one day it might happen. Let's check out the Funko where Carl and Ellie are painting their mailbox. Okay, this one I couldn't resist taking out of its box, which is why I ended up buying two of them. I love all the details that Funko included, like the fact that Carl is standing on a little wooden box just so he can be tall enough to reach the mailbox. This is definitely a pop that needs to be appreciated from all different angles. And on to Doug with some puppy friends. Teeth, puppy teeth, ow, ow, puppy teeth, tiny puppy teeth on me. I think this pop is absolutely adorable. We have Doug trying to save his toys from being taken by the puppy. I will mention that there's also a Target exclusive specifically with Doug and the puppies. I opted not to get that one though since I felt like this one is a pretty similar concept. Moving on to poor Carl in his flower costume. Doug, get out of my azaleas. This is from when Doug was having a dream in one of the episodes from Doug Days on Disney+. Plus. Have any of you gotten to watch this? It was actually a pretty cute series. And as silly as Carl looks, you know it would have to be a dream for him to be dressed this way. I definitely always think of Will Smith dressed as a sunflower whenever I look at this Funko. Now let's check out Doug with his hero medal. You are just a squirrel. I'm definitely grateful that Funko came out with this line of pops since I started collecting after all the original ones came out and now they're definitely out of my price range. I really wish I owned the Funko of Doug where he's got the cone of shame on. I've only seen pictures of it so if any of you actually own it let me know in the comments below and just know I'm living vicariously through you. And on to one of my favorite characters, Russell. Small mailman! Hey Doug! How you doing boy? Russell and Kevin are two of my top characters from Up and speaking of Kevin, I once owned the Kevin with Balloon House Funko but I ended up letting it go because of the sheer size of it. I'm all about collecting Funkos but after about 6 inches, I'm sorry it's taking up too much space for my preference and I believe the house measured around 12 inches tall. I'm happy I got to see it in person for a brief time though and now someone else can enjoy it. And last but not least, we'll check out Doug with the squirrel. Squirrel! Out of all the Doug days, I would say this one's probably my favorite because I feel like any of the squirrel scenes are always iconic. I forgot to mention that all five of the Doug days Funko Pops I purchased as a pre-order bundle for around $40. So this is my little collection as a whole. Which one's your favorite? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye, friends!